Texas Tech and Houston. And you want to talk about a fun game. Texas Tech wins 33-30 to in double overtime, and I was just in love with it. Uh, not because Texas Tech won necessarily. I'm not a fan of either team. But when you look at how excited that fan base is to have a, a potential contender, uh, yes, it's awesome. Which, by the way, the tweet at the end of the game where Texas Tech has the the crushed Red Bull can. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. All right, looking at the stats here. Um, post-game win expectancy was 86% for Texas Tech via CFB data. Uh, Houston had more yards per play. Texas Tech had more total yards, which means, of course, that Texas Tech ran way more plays, like way more plays. Uh, let's see if I can pull it up. Um, da, 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 da. Total plays, 102 total plays for Texas Tech to 68 for Houston. Yeah, that'll get her done. Um, and still, Houston was right there in the ball game. Both teams had two turnovers. Uh, the third down, uh, third down tries, <laughs> third down tries is ridiculous. Thirty one percent for Houston to only twenty seven percent for Texas Tech. Uh, fourth down tries, Houston, you know, sixty six percent scoring opportunities. Houston had more, but my gosh, they couldn't do anything with the ball. They couldn't finish drives again. Uh, didn't do it again last week against UTSA, but uh, two point six points per scoring opportunity. That's drives that, that get inside the opponent's forty yard line. Texas Tech was able to finish those drives. Houston. One defensive touchdown, and their average field position was starting on their own 42. They had a 17-yard field position advantage and squandered it. Just ridiculous. Uh, let's see, double O'Neill. I had Houston in a close one, but congratulations, Texas Tech. Yeah, I, I had Houston plus three and a half, so I covered that. It was 33-30, um, but yeah, regardless. This, this Houston team is a lot of fun, and the Texas Tech team is a lot of fun. I like what Zach Kitley is doing with the offense here. They are, it, I don't think Donovan Smith is exactly what he wanted, but man, is Donovan Smith fun. There were multiple opportunities that guys just could not uh, hold on to the football or or get the right block in place, etc. Donovan Smith is electric, even if he doesn't necessarily fit Zach Kitley's offense, Right. Um, that's just a, just a guess there, but it is still, I mean, just something to behold. I mean, you look at the the total EPA on these teams was, was not great because they ran so many plays and didn't score very many points. Um, but man, it was a, it was an exciting game to watch them, you know, storm the field at the end of the game. That was so much fun. So much fun. I love what Joey McGuire is doing here. I love what Zach Kitley's doing here. This was this was a great game. And so I was I was excited about it. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.